Folks, welcome back. It's your man, Takisa. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for the love, the support. Y'all coming on board. We're almost at 700 subscribers. So excited. We're so close. So close. Subscribe. Hit that button real quick. Like it. I think I already said that. Let's keep moving on. Bouncing out, looking like Jordan at his prime. 87 vet with the seat on recline. You can slide. I'm excited today because a supplier reached out to me. This is a new supplier and um, wanted me to review these things behind me right here, which we're looking at the Gratitude 11s or the DMPs. Let's get further into it. So as I mentioned, we are looking at the Air Jordan 11 Retro. Gratitude, the finding moments sneaker. Now, the 2023 edition that will be released December 9th, 2023, unless they push it back, and Nike is known to do that, Air Jordan brand as well. Uh, the 2023 edition of the Air Jordan 11 uh, DMPs, right, brings back a coveted colorway of the Legacy model, originally paired with the Air Jordan 6 as one half of the Finding Moments pack back from 2006. Inspired by the OG Concord colorway, the championship silhouette features a white tumble leather upper with tonal webbing eyelets and a black patent leather mudguard. Metallic gold accents land on the shoes branding out elements, including an embossed jump logo on a lateral ankle and a 23 stamp on the heel tab, and the sneaker ride on a fine line midsole supported by a carbon fiber shank plate and a translucent rubber outsole. Let's get straight into it, shall we? First and foremost, before we go into it, let's shout out the new supplier. That's right, let's go ahead and zoom in. So if you want to uh, get in contact, that's the information right there. And we're gonna zoom right back out and that's gonna be the end of it right there, okay? Now, let's look at the box. Hey, let's be uh, kind of corny right quick. Turn this around. <laughs> Just want to say uh, thank you to the supplier for getting that out to me. Yeah? No? Okay. Got the stamp right here, as you can see. Bam. Um, the box came in pristine. 23 right there. That's what's up. We got the uh, tag right here. White metallic gold black. Size 12 wide because big feet gang on deck. We got the uh, gold sock right here. Nice for, you know, uh, ventilation. Um, what else we got? We got this right here. I'm just showing you what it is. So y'all can see it. Sorry for shaking the camera, but that is pretty much it. Okay, let's move that back up. Let's look at the paperwork right quick. So pretty much we got all thank yous in different languages. That's what's up. Let's keep it moving, okay? Let's look at the shoe itself. What I love about the shoe off rip, that it reminds me of the Concord, but it has different flavor to it, different swag, and I definitely can appreciate that. Nice 23 right here. This part right here, beautiful, beautiful. You can't miss up stitching on this, can you? That's right. We got the uh, semi-translucent outsole. So it, all, it already looks kind of aged, but it isn't, but it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's up. I have no problem with that, you know what I mean? Like, it, my whole thing with 11s, as long as it's not too yellow, like if it's bright yellow, it look dungy as crap, then yeah, we're gonna have to do what we can to get the outsole looking clear. We got the, you know, carbon fiber, which, ah, damn it, knuckle bumping. Definitely on point, definitely on point. Very nice, tumbled leather on the upper. Ton looking good. Yep. Tag, all of that. Let's take a look at the inside here. Nice sock liner. In fact, hold on a second. I just turned the light up a little bit so I can we can see the inside. In fact, let me go ahead and take out the paper because you know um, Nike Jordan brand doesn't do like the shoehorns and stuff no more. The size, well, the size 12 sticker was on here. It must have rubbed off. Up oh, there it goes. Here we are on the finger, bam, size 12. Put that back on there. Let's take out the insole right quick. So here's the insole. Bam. Show that to y'all here. Cool. And the tag on the inside here. Cool. It says thank you on both sides. Quality basketball product created in gratitude by the greatest player ever. Great. And then the tag itself, let's take a look if we can find that right quick. Yeah, what I'm gonna have to do is just take a picture and then I'm gonna show y'all the tag like that so you can see it on the screen. But overall, very impressive shoe here. We are looking at the right one. Let's go ahead and dig into the box. 
take that left one out. Yes, we do have the YDM sticker right there, as you can see, so that's what's up. Um, tell me in comments, or just hit me up on Instagram, information's on the screen, if you are interested in this shoe, or you pretty much like, eh, whatever. I think a lot of people are gonna be waiting for the shoe and trying to get them at the proper price. But unfortunately, more than likely, you may have to get these resale, kind of like what happened with the Jubilees. But we'll talk more about that later. 23 on the back, that's what's up. Uh, you got your little triangle cuts here. Triangle cut right there on the toe box. Cool. But the stitching is on point. I would have to say this is a top tier shoe. Just the weight of the shoe and just everything that I feel and see on the shoe as well, as y'all can see with me. I mean, it doesn't look low at all to me. So shout out to the supplier once again. Thank you very much for getting these out to me as quickly as you could. Shipping was a little slow, but that is not the supplier's fault. They did the best they could to get these out to me as quickly as possible. So yeah, let's go ahead and get back into it. Okay, so these shoes are beautiful to say the least. They look like Concords, but they're not. They have the, well, let's take another look at them, shall we? They have the, uh, you know, um, almost faded outsole. And I say faded, like, you know, kind of like a semi-translucent outsole here. Um, pretty much oxidized, if you will. Semi-oxidized, as you can see on the screen here, right? <laughs> but it's still nice, though, how they have it set up. It, it really goes with the aesthetic of the shoe. And then I'm liking the tumbled leather on the panels here and the gold touch right here, the, the gold jump man right here. Like that's, I'm, I'm grateful to have these. I know it's kind of corny, but real talk, like I'm, I'm grateful to be able to show these to y'all earlier before the release. Um, and the whole, the whole idea about it is, will these be available for resale? I mean, not resale, but will they be available for retail and then eventually go to resale? Uh, it depends. Um, if they're anything like every other 11 that's come out, it's gonna, it could be a hit or miss. Like I know when the Jubilees were released uh, three years ago, um, let's put this back over here. Um, they, uh, they did pretty much so high for resale at that point. But um, with the cherries, uh, not so much. Like it's, it's not as high as the Jubilees ended up becoming. Um, so it, it depends. I mean, this year, due to inflation and things of that nature, it's been a little bit harder to kind of gauge the shoe market, but we will see. But a beautiful thing about all of us that I'm talking to right now, and those of you watching this video, we don't have to give a damn. We can just buy these things at an affordable cost. These are definitely high tier shoes. So if anything, you're looking at anywhere between 150 to 170 for them, which is lower than the retail cost. We can just buy them and keep it moving. But at the end of the day, it is your choice. I'm not gonna, I'm just a messenger. So if you wanna spend your bread on the resale and try to go for retail and you can't get it and just get the resale afterwards, that's your choice. You know what I mean? As long as you're happy. I want that, like for me, it's about the love of the shoe from me to you. But also that love comes with understanding that all of y'all have a choice to make when it comes to these things, but nonetheless, we're gonna definitely keep it moving, go on to the next reviews. It's your man, Takisa. If you have any questions or concerns, Instagram's right there on the screen. Hit me up. Most of y'all that have already, thank you very much. I try to get back to y'all as quickly as I can unless I'm at work or doing the father thing or husband thing. At that time, just be, just, you know, be patient with me. I'm gonna get back to you, definitely so. But appreciate y'all coming on board. We're gonna get to the unfair. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.